Hi everyone, it's Tish with Naptime Creations. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. It's free and it'll help me out a lot. So hit that subscribe button. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. It is a resin coaster compilation. So I've taken 10 of my longer tutorials and sped them up into quick one minute demos. Um, just because sometimes people like to see the super fast videos. So I like to make these every so often and post them on my channel. But I will link the full tutorials for each one of these down in the description box. So if you want a more in-depth step-by-step tutorial, be sure to go check out the longer videos. I will have each of them listed down below, numbered one through 10. And some of these do have a voiceover over them um, because I do kind of edit these down for Instagram and TikTok and stuff like that. But let me know what you think and thanks so much for watching. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Let's make some resin coasters. So here I just have a glittery base. This is Paris Light Sparkler Glitter from Dryer Days Art Studio. I added a good layer of clear, a nice thick layer of clear. Went in with some alcohol inks, interference blue mica powder, and gold. And I honestly added too much gold. So now I'm going back in with the alcohol inks and just adding drops of color. Adding a little bit of clear to kind of push those inks to the side and bring up that gold that we had under there. Hitting it with my heat gun on high, and here's how they turned out. This technique was kind of an accidental discovery or a happy accident, I guess. I wasn't going for this look, but I added too much gold on that first layer, so it actually ended up working out in the end. And I'm excited to try this out some more. Let me know what you think down in the comments, and thanks for watching. Let's make some Cloud Technique resin coasters. So here are my molds. I'm filling them up almost to the top with clear resin, dropping down some alcohol inks, and the white I had mixed up 45 drops of the Pinata Blanco Blanco alcohol ink into one ounce of clear resin. Let these sit for an hour, went in and did some swirly designs, and here we are the next day filling the molds up the rest of the way with some holographic sparkly glitter. I let that layer dry overnight, and here we are ready to demold them. I think they turned out out really pretty. This technique is so fun and so easy to do. Um, you really get some really awesome effects if you just kind of wait one hour after you do your pour and you can go in with a silicone mixing tool and do some swirly designs and those designs that you do will stay put in the resin. They won't move around as your resin sets up but let me know what you think and I will link the full tutorial for this one down below in the description box. Thanks for watching. Let's make some alcohol ink resin coasters. So here are my molds. I filled up the um, bottom just with enough clear to cover the bottom. I didn't add much clear at all. Now I'm going in with my alcohol inks and I'm using Pinata Blanco Blanco for my white, dropping down some iridescent um, interference blue mica powder. And I did a swirly design with my finger and that was it. I let them sit overnight. Here we are the next day filling the molds up the rest of the way with some holographic silver glitter. And here's how they turned out. Doing that swirl design gave me a really pretty flower effect on these. And the key for this technique is to not make your first layer very thick. You want that first layer to be thin. Um, like I said, I only added enough clear just to cover the bottom of the mold. And then I went in and dropped my colors of ink and then um, did my swirly design. And that was it. Super easy to do. And I think they turned out really pretty. Thanks for watching. Let's make some floating gold resin coasters. So here are my coasters. I just poured gold glitter into coaster molds, popped them out, taped the backs, and added one ounce of clear to each of these coasters, added some alcohol inks, and went in with some blue interference mica powder and some floating gold mica powder. Hit them with my heat gun on high just to kind of blend everything and bring that floating gold pigment up to the top. Added a little bit of clear, and here we are the next day. I pulled the tape off the back. They turned out so pretty. I just love the way these turned out. This technique is so easy to do and it's a great way to kind of revamp resin coasters that you've made that just didn't turn out how you liked or how you wanted. You can always go in and do a layer of artwork just like this on top of them and you'll have some beautiful coasters. And don't mind my daughter, she was running circles around me while I was filming this, but let me know what you guys think and thanks for watching.
Let's make a petri dish resin coaster. So I had this mold filled up about one third of the way with clear resin. I'm dropping down my alcohol inks and I'm using Pinata Blanco Blanco for my white. Went in with some blue interference mica powder and my finger and just did a little swirly design. Here we are the next day filling the mold up the rest of the way with some gold glitter. I'm going to let this dry overnight and here we are ready to demold it turned out really pretty there's so much fun depth and dimension in this piece and I think on this one I use the total boat tabletop epoxy but I will link the full um, you know I have a four minute demo showing step by step how I made this on my channel so I'll link that down below in the description box if you want to go check it out but adding that blue interference in there really gives a nice touch of color and a really pretty shimmer as well. Let me know what you think of this one down in the comments and thanks for watching. Let's make some resin coasters. So here we are, layer one. I'm just filling up the rims of the molds with gold glitter. And this is 24 hours later, layer two. I poured about one ounce of clear resin into each of my molds and now I'm laying down my foils. These are images printed on craft plastic. I picked them up off Etsy and I'm just submerging those into that clear. I let that dry for 24 hours and now we're gonna fill the molds up the rest of the way. I used black glitter mixed with clear resin hit it with my heat gun to pop bubbles and here we are ready to demold them 24 hours later I demolded these in full-blown natural sunlight so the image is kind of hard to read they're gonna look like this um, if they're you know just sitting on your coffee table or your end table of course you're not gonna have them in full-blown sunlight all the time so this is more of how they're gonna look let me know what you think and thanks so much for watching Let's make some resin flower coasters. So here are my molds. I'm pouring about an ounce and a half to two ounces of clear, dropping down my inks. These are the Let's Resin Alcohol inks. I'm using peach red and yellow. I wanted to add mostly yellow to the center of these and the peach red to the corners. And now we're going to go in with some white that I had mixed up. This is the Let's Resin Sinker White. I added 35 drops into one ounce of clear resin. I just added swirly lines, and this is what they're looking like one hour later. They look like perfect flowers. Here we are the next day. I'm just filling the molds up the rest of the way with some iridescent glitter mixed with clear resin. And that's it. I popped them out of the mold, and here's how they turned out. This is a super easy way to make resin flower coasters with alcohol inks and I have a full in-depth tutorial on my YouTube channel if you want to go check it out at Naptime Creations. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Let's make some resin coasters. So here are my coasters. I just used glitter and clear resin. These are glitters from Laura's Art Corner. I put on about an ounce of Total Boat Tabletop Epoxy, just clear resin on each of the coasters and added some drops of the Let's Resin Alcohol inks in rose gold and gold. Hit it with my heat gun on high to move those inks around and I got some really awesome lacing on these. On these three I wanted to add a little bit of color so I went in with some purple and blue alcohol inks from Let's Resin and a little bit more gold. Hit it with my heat gun again on high to move those inks around and here's how they turned out. I got some really pretty lacing on all of these and the colors are just so pretty together. This one's the Blue Diamond Chameleon Glitter from Laura's Art Corner and this one's um, Rose Green Chameleon from Laura's Art Corner. It goes so pretty with that rose gold alcohol ink. Let me know what you think and thanks for watching. Let's make some resin foil coasters. So I poured a thin layer of clear into my molds. I'm just laying down my foils, pushing them down to make sure there's no air bubbles. And these are just iridescent images printed on clear paper. The next day I poured a layer of black tinted resin. I actually just used black glitter mixed with clear resin and let those dry for 24 hours. And here we are ready to demold them. They turned out so pretty. This project is so super simple and easy. I am gonna be having a longer in-depth tutorial coming out next week. So make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss that video. I made two cell phone stands and they turned out really awesome. And I got some really cool texture in the glitter layer of these pieces. Up close, you can kind of see there's a lot of really awesome texture and I wasn't expecting that. I used the Total Boat High Performance Epoxy on these. Let me know what you think down in the comments and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.